you ever wanted to have the look of gold on your piece, but maybe because of pricing, it's a little bit out of reach or cost prohibitive? Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, I want to introduce you to Pepe Tools Pen Plating System. The system is great because it allows us to add different elements, touches of gold, or maybe you need to rhodium plate a head or something like that. Typically, when you plate an item, you would have to plate the entire item. And a lot of times that's not exactly what's desired. Maybe you want just one little element. And like I said, maybe the cost of gold is prohibitive for you to make an element to attach to your piece. So let's talk about this and see how it works. Your pen plating system comes with everything that you see here. We have the actual system and control box right here. Now this goes from 1.2 to 17.3 volts, and we'll look at that in just a second. You have an alligator clip, you have the pen, you have the nibs for your pen, which are, these are gonna be felt. In this case, it'll come with three of these extra fine felt tips. It also comes with your power supply, and the thing that's nice about this is that it is interchangeable, so if you Live, let's say like in the UK or something like that they actually have a different plug that you can insert into that it also includes three of these little jars you'll see that one of my jars is already filled with some solution and in this case it's 14 karat solution but the thing that you want to do when you buy these plating solutions is you don't want to work out of the jar that they come in you want to just pour in a little bit into one of these jars and use that now you'll also notice that on the unit itself, it can store each of these different jars here. In addition to that, there are some little holes that will allow you to store your pen. Now notice that there are four of those. In fact, you can actually have two pens plugged in at the same time. And what you'll want to do maybe is get some additional pens. So if you're working with multiple types of solutions, then you would be able to have one for each of your solutions and then some. So let's take a look at the system and how to set it up. Now over here, you've got two ports and over here you have two ports. On the bottom we have a little turn dial and that's going to allow us to adjust our voltage. So when I come over to the one that has my power, you'll see that there's two different sizes. So you cannot, you can't mix these up, it'll be easy. So I'm going to just insert my plug and the system is now on. The second, the smaller little port right here is for your alligator clip. And that is so that when we are doing our piece, because it works on an electrical current, we are able to create and complete that current by using the little alligator clip on our piece. Now on the other side, and as I said before, you are actually able to install two of these pens at the same time. I only have the one, so that's what I'm going to plug in for right now. Now that little spin dial allows me to change my voltage. Now with the 14 karat gold solution that I'm going to be using, I wanna use this at about eight or nine, so I'll put it about eight and a half uh, for my volts on this, and then we'll use that from there. So as I said before, it does go up to just a little over 17 volts, and it goes all the way down to like 1.2, 1.3. So you do have a wide range in here that you can use, and the way that you would determine what you need is look at your solution, see what it calls for, and as you start working on something, maybe it's not plating the way you would like. Maybe your piece is a little larger, and so you could give it a little bit more voltage. When I work with this system, I want to make sure that I don't get any of the oil from my hands onto the pieces that I'm working. So I just like to use a pair of rubber gloves or vinyl gloves or whatever you need on there. So now that we have everything set up, let's really get it going so we can start to play with this. So you'll notice that I've waited until I have gloves on to handle this felt tip nib. And that is because I don't want my fingers to have the oils transfer over to it or any of my dirt or whatever might be on my hands, even if I've cleaned it. So I want to just insert that in, push it all the way in so that it makes a good contact there in the back. Then what I'm going to do is bring in my pieces. So as I said before, I want to use just a little bit. I don't want to contaminate my whole jar 
full of solution or anything like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Now safety is going to be key on this because these solutions can either be acid-based or cyanide-based. And so you wanna be careful with that. So really quick, here's a couple different pieces that I'm gonna kind of play around with, but there's a couple things that I also need. So in this little jar here, I have some denatured alcohol. And that is just so that I can make certain that my surface is really clean. I've already gone through each of the pieces and I've cleaned them up clean them off the oil as best I can, but you never know what's here. So I have some Q-tips. I also have water because you're going to want to rinse all of your pieces after you have done your plating on this. So what I'm gonna do first is open up this denatured alcohol, take my Q-tip, and I'm just going to swab the area that I am going to be doing. So in this case, I'm using a US quarter. Now US quarters are mostly copper and zinc, and then they are nickel plated. Now that's another thing too that I wanted to bring up is the fact that if you try to do this on silver, you need to do a nickel plating first. And that is because the gold wants to kind of mix in with that silver and it just kind of sinks in rather than plating on the top. However, nickel won't have that same reaction. So you can nickel plate your piece first and then come back with your gold plating. You can see when I used the cotton swab, it definitely cleaned off some extra dirt, even though I'd already taken steps to clean this off. So now what I need to do is my unit is set to eight and a half volts. I need to create this connection. So I'm going to use the alligator clip to hold on to this quarter. Then I'm gonna take my pen, I'm gonna dip it into the solution, soak some of that up, and I'm just going to rub this onto the face of the quarter. And hopefully you guys can see this, it is starting to put a little layer of gold. So what happens is there is actually gold that is suspended in this liquid. You can see kind of that little bubbly action that's happening right there. So I'm just going to keep rubbing until I can see that I'm no longer really laying down any layer of gold on here. Redip, get some more and continue on. So hopefully you can see how quickly this is happening. Now doing a plating like this is going to be extremely thin. So this is something that could very easily be polished off if you're not careful. So you don't wanna be doing any of your sanding or soldering or anything like that after you have done this. So this is going to be one of your final steps to do this. When this is completed, you simply rinse it off in water and you're good to go. So steel is another one of these metals that's going to plate well. So first thing I wanna do is again, make sure everything is nice and clean. So even though I've already gone through and I've scrubbed this, I wanna make certain that it's really clean. That's another thing too. So if you want to kind of mask out a part that you don't want plated, just create a little bit of dirtiness. Maybe use a Sharpie or something like that. Once again, I'm just going to dip into my solution and begin to rub the area that I want plated. When I'm finished, I want to just close the lid on my piece. I never want to pour this back into the rest of my solution because again, I don't wanna run the risk of contaminating a larger bottle. So just pour in just a little bit and you can see even here, I've still got quite a bit that I can use, but you just wanna make sure that you don't pour it back into the other to contaminate that. So it's really that simple and that's kind of the nice thing. Key takeaways that you need to keep in mind is keep everything nice and clean. Have that denatured alcohol ready or your isopropyl alcohol, any of those will work. You want just anything that's going to keep the, the, the oils from your skin from contacting that piece. And so you wanna just make sure you've got that. To do any of your plating and in between each of them to finish it off, just rinse it off in water. You don't need to wash it off or anything else like that with any other solutions. You want to use a clean nib each time you really get into this. 
So now that I've done this demonstration with the current nib, I will replace that with a fresh one when I'm ready to go again on the next project. So a couple of the things that I really like about this particular system, one, it's affordable. Two, I have the option of using multiple pens. I can store multiple solutions all within one area. So that way I can put it away, store it until I'm ready to pull it back out and it's ready to go again for me. So there's a couple of different things. Now another thing that I have found that's out there and it's kind of fun, there are a lot of different plating solutions. So everything from 24 karat, 14 karat, you can do a green gold, you can do rose gold. There's actually even some that you can do that'll take your pieces very black, which is a hard thing to do. And this is one solution for that as well. So just take a look, just make sure that when you do this, you get the pen plating solutions and not the bath plating solutions, because you definitely will not end up with the same results. Hope you guys found it helpful and we'll see you guys next time.